down on every beat. Diagrams are on the screen. Three, four, one, two, eighty beats per minute. Three and four, a minor. Two and three and four, one. Hey, g'day, how are ya? It's Glenn here. I am at Guitar Practice Hub. You are at Guitar Practice Hub. Thank you for being with me today. We are going to get better at this instrument. We're going to do it together. Practice sessions on demand. That's right. You demand them, we do them. Well, I do them, you demand them, you do them with me. Yes? Okay, sounds all right to me. Today we're going to give a shout out to Alexander Simon. He says, very, very good, more strumming. So today, guess what we're going to do? We're going to do more strumming. Yes. Hey, also, if you want to write something in the comments that you want me to practice with you, please do and I will do it. So Alex, Alexander, Simon, this one's for you, mate. All right, so strumming is rhythm. Rhythm is important. The way we strum makes what we play come alive. It's nice to have our strumming patterns down. We like to have some in the bag ready to go. This discipline of getting into these patterns on the beats, down and up with strums, all of that will lead to a real sense of freedom on the instrument with the way we feel the rhythm and strum our rhythm. Very easy to say, just feel it out. Very hard to do when we're a beginner on the instrument. Cool, so we're going to be strumming with a sense of four beats per bar, four, four time signature. We all know this one, we've heard it our whole lives. It's where we count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's going to guide our strumming, our chord progressions, all of that. So the way we think about it is different lengths of our strum. And uh, that'll indicate what beat they fall on and the like. First one we do is a whole note strum. Check out the diagrams on the screen. This is what strumming and rhythm markers look like written down. So we don't have to guess, we can just read them and do them. Whole notes is where we start. These ones go for a count of four. For example, like this, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, strum, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Not even making chords yet. We'll do that in a second. The next one is half notes, okay? These go for two beats. We halve the amounts. Half notes, like this, every two beats. One, two, three, four. Down, two. That's how we strum half notes. Then quarter notes. We will strum them every beat. Quarter notes go for one beat. <laughs> Downward strums. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay, now we get into eighth notes. These can be called quavers. These are half a beat in length. Now we're going to be strumming up as well as down. So we're going to strum down, up, down, up. You'll get the gist. The way we count it now, because they're uh, in half of a beat, we count them one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and down, up. There is, there is the layout of our rhythms that we're going to be strumming with today. Okay, we're going to strum the, these with two chords. A C chord, okay? Check out the diagram for the C chord if you're unfamiliar with it. We also have other videos that work through chords like these. Check out our channel and the C chord. We're going to strum it with whole notes. One, two, three, four. Down. Very easy. Come on, four more. One, two, three, four. One, two. Timing is essential. One, two. Just one more. And one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to change chords to the A minor. And what we're going to do is we're going to strum this one with half notes. Every two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, 
we are only strumming on the odd beats. One, three, one, two, four. Okay, crotchets, you ready? Crotchets are our quarter notes. One beat, remember, strumming down on every beat. Diagrams are on the screen. We are going to do it now. A C chord for two bars, and then an A minor for two bars. Okay, one, one, two, three, four. C, C, A minor. Get ready for the C chord, here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, A minor, and. And C. Back to C. Last one on the A minor. Three, four, A minor. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, we're going to do the eighth notes now, the quavers. Remember, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and same as before. C for two bars, A minor for two bars. Ready? And one and two and three and down, up. One and two, three, A minor. One and two and C. A minor, one and two, three, four, C. The cool thing about changing between these two chords, hey, is just move one finger, one and two and three, A minor. One more each, C. Awesome. All right, so now what we've done, we've gone through all of our different divisions of rhythm, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes. Let's put them into a little bit of a strumming pattern, okay? We're going to do it between the chords C and A minor, just like we were before. Uh, we're going to be strumming the uh, strumming pattern that's on the screen below. Have a look at that. It is a quarter note and eighth notes. So we have a quarter note for beat one, and then for beats two, three, and four, we have eighth notes. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so let's put it under our fingers. C for two bars, two counts of four, A minor for two counts of four, with the strumming pattern. One, two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. A minor, one, two, and three, and four, and one. Back to C, ready? One, just move that single finger. Three, and four, A minor, two, and three, and four, and one. And C. Strum with me, 80 beats per minute, A minor, 1, 2, and 3, and C, 1, get that rhythm, A minor, you got rhythm, yes, C, stick with me on this one, that is awesome, A minor, singing. Write a song with these two chords, why not? C, down, down, up, down. We're going to finish on a C chord after this, A minor. Ready? One, two, and finish on a C. Awesome. 
So good, so good. Rhythm. Rhythm makes the world go round. Rhythm brings joy to your feet and to your ears. You want to dance with rhythm. <laughs> I think I do. What about you? Um, so what we do is we get these strumming patterns under our fingers. There's a great one for you right now. Thanks for practicing that one with me. Check out more of our videos for more strumming patterns and more rhythm practice sessions. Anything you want to do, please comment below. Like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Guitar Practice Hub is all about practicing together. You and me getting better on this instrument. Thanks for being with me here today and playing guitar together. My name is Glenn. I will see you next video.